and we are live episode 19 gentlemen holy crap nice on here 19 oh um all righty then what's up larry you you staying for the show larry i'll stay in for a little while guys all right sounds good all right um okay so today we have with us paul from uh, whiskey amateurs podcast paul you want to you want to say hi yo what's going on guys how are you today and we have larry larry what's your podcast name again it's been so long i can't remember oh it's sports. been a while i'm it, i have the sports insanity podcast and then i have the face turn i'm face in two turn. podcasts now oh is, face is that the re- wwe one it's the wrestling podcast yeah. yes oh yeah wrestling. okay okay um I think I want to start first by Paul asking you about your podcast. I, I was looking into your website a little bit there. So you guys try a different whiskey each episode? Is, is that – was I getting that right? So, yeah, the way it works is I have three uh, whiskeys that I randomly buy from a store. I try to, like, do, like, a lower brand tier, a middle tier, and a higher tier. And then me and the guests would drink them together. And we try to go through a rating system to find what's the best whiskey. And then it's kind of like Sweet 16 as well. So, like, whatever wins of that round – We'll move on to the next round, and so other bottles get drunk through, and then when I got enough, we'll go up to another round. So, like my first season, there was a clear winner at the end of it. Wow, wow that's pretty that's good. Cool. So, how so how many episodes were in your sick. first season? Uh, so I did nine initial rounds, so that would give me then three more rounds of you know nine bottles then, and then that ended up with us only having three bottles at the end. So it ended up being thirteen episodes all in all. Sweet man, it sounds that's pretty cool. fucking awesome. So so how do you? You you said you have guests, not co-host, right? So how do you pick? Uh, how do you find your guest? I mean, this is my first season, so it's just friends and whomever wanted to be on it. So yeah, you know, found a couple people through uh, Reddit or um, people that live in my apartment complex, stuff like that. They just wanted <laughs> to be on it. That's awesome. So I mean, so- the, the only rule I have is you got just got to be an amateur. You know, I don't want to have anybody that's like knows everything about whiskey because then you know they're snobby. Or this whole podcast idea came from like I had a friend coming into town. He wanted to drink some whiskey. I went to go buy a bunch of bottles and like we bought like, an eighty dollar bottle. We bought a twenty dollar bottle. We fucked and hated the eighty dollar bottle. So I was like, "What the fuck, man? Why do people buy such expensive whiskey when the twenty dollar bottle was better?" And then that kind of just was like the brainchild for why I started the podcast. Wow, yeah, it's pretty nice. So how how long are your guys' episodes? I try to keep it within an hour. I mean, the judging's about 30 to 40 minutes, and then the other 20 minutes is just banter and questions of the guests. So, yeah, that's a pretty good time. So I guess I guess that's kind of a, a hard podcast to have guests that can't come in on, right? Because obviously they need to be tasting the whiskey, and unless they're willing to purchase it themselves, they're kind of shit out of luck. Yeah, so everybody I have at this point has all been uh, face-to-face, like, setting up at their house normally. So, for example, I'm from Ohio originally. I'm living in Maryland right now. So half my podcast was done in Maryland. The other half of my guests I got going back home and just uh, meeting up with friends and family and stuff. But I brought all my podcasting equipment, bottles, the whole nine yards set up and everything there with them. Hell yeah. So so you said you usually do it at their house. So my next question was going to be, do you have some sort of, like, studio for everybody to come to? I mean, I would like to get to that level, but you guys, you know, been podcasting for a little bit yourself. Um, cost is the the biggest yeah. issue. You know, I don't have a house right now. I don't want really want to set up a studio, and uh, I don't know. I think it's just fun to kind of like be able to travel a little bit with it. Yeah, yeah. It's and like you said, going around to your apartment uh, complex, like it's probably a good way to make some new friends too. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Sweet. So if you guys ever wanted to be on the podcast, where are you guys all living about? We we all live in New York. Oh, you guys yeah. are in New York? Okay. I got Where do you go. live? Uh, Maryland right now. Ba- uh, okay. Baltimore City. Are you in your closet? Oh. Yeah, I'm in the closet right now. I need the good acoustics. I like it. <laughs> well, if you see my mic, it's all lit up and stuff, too. Fancy. <laughs> yeah, I, ju- I just yeah. got a snowball. I got a... I actually... It's a blue snowball, but mine is white. Nice. Of course. Yeah, the mics I have, they light up blue, and then I got another one that's red. So every time I have a person on, I'm always like, I'm going to be the light force, the dark force. So you usually only have one other person on? Yeah, honestly, I'd like to get this to video, and I'd like to move it up to three people. But, again, it just comes down to cost and, you know, anything else. But I'm in talks with different people about trying to 
do some side projects and get some other things going so I can at least uh, pay for the podcast. So how, how long have you been doing the podcast? Uh, I did 13 episodes. So, I mean, honestly, I recorded most of them up front and personal. And then the rest, uh, I can do them whenever. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you said you said you have about uh, 100 to 200 uh, viewers, like concurrent viewers. Is that what you were saying earlier? Yeah, yeah. I've, my listener track for each episode is somewhere around 100 to 200. So, uh, like, uh, did you really just get get a lot of ground from the start or did you have to is that after the 13 episodes part of it's after the 13 episodes part of it's just like grinding out going on subreddits talking to other people getting expert advice from other people that have been doing it for a little bit longer and i think a lot of it's just luck as well yeah well i i definitely do suggest you uh you start going to video because yours definitely sounds like a podcast that could easily blow up on youtube i mean even even like uh regardless of the actual podcast aspect just as a YouTube video itself, I feel like it could be a very popular very quickly. Yeah, yeah, I pre- sure. yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, and if you guys uh, ever get a chance, or I can come up to New York, depending on what goes on, love to have you guys on. Hey, man, we, we do yeah. poker nights once a month. Maybe I'll have to stop by for one, and we could fucking... There you go. We, we do some, some poker, drink some whiskey. Yeah, yeah tell people whiskey, what's up. some money. Yeah. Be a great <laughs> poker and whiskey, I'm down. All right, there you go, man. Yeah, cool. So you guys got another friend on? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. This this is Larry. He he's got his own podcast here. He just popped in. Yeah. So what's Larry's podcast about? So I do too. I'm in a, I would say network. We haven't officially announced it yet. So we have three podcasts in our network. I run right. one with a few of my friends. It's an all sports show. Then I do a pro wrestling one with two of the other network people. And then the third people that joined us, they do a hockey podcast. Oh, nice. So we're all little conglomerate of little podcasts what what made you want to jump to doing three different podcasts with um, all the editing and everything that comes with well, it's a lot of work. i only do two of them and i only edit one thank god yeah thank god thank god thank god you know, there are other people edit the other ones i edit our main one but it started off during the pandemic for some reason i don't yeah. know how that happened i mean boredom right now not being able to leave yeah. your house it's pretty well that well yeah boring boring now. well well Nick well, that's Wolver. why there's like what the numbers show, like from 2018 to 2019 to 20, it's like a 10 hundred, it's like a hundred x multiple of how many people have started making podcasts. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's, just, it's just, yeah, it's just a filler to kill time when you're bored at home and when you're not right, when, and when, when you're not an essential worker like I am. Yeah, no. Well, I've been laid off for about like eight months now, so you know. Uh, well, I'm some, sorry. To, oh yeah, I mean, fuck, I'm in the entertainment industry, so. What did you do? Uh, what do you mean? Yeah, so what do you, yeah, what do you do for a living? Uh, so before I got laid off, I was actually working for a radio station, uh, and then they just scaled back, and I'm just one of the guys they cut. But uh, I work at a, a couple different clubs and venues here, helping out when I can, doing security, doing setup. Um, I used to work for a casino where I'm just doing what's considered a uh, talent buying. You guys know anything about talent no, buying? Not no idea. So yeah, I mean, you know, if you want to get an artist into any local joint, uh, what's a band you guys like, or group, or sing, or something? I really Probably like, no uh, one you know. All right, Cage let's say King, let's say Kid Cudi. All right, yeah, Cage the Elephant. So I mean, I you want Cage the Elephant to come into town? I mean, someone's got to book them. You know, yeah. they got to yeah. have a venue for them. They got to have someone to talk to. So I help out in that regard. But I also do like local yeah. bookings as well at local clubs and stuff, just to give people that are trying to come up an opportunity, sort of thing. Yeah, it sounds like an interesting job. You probably meet a lot of interesting people. Yeah, I've had some uh, good times meeting some people, you know. But you got to keep it real and uh, don't fan out when people show up that you like to see or whatever. You you said you're a bouncer too. Do you have any good bouncer stories? Oh, I've worked security. No, as far as oh, bouncer okay. stories, nothing like too crazy or whatnot. I mean, catching people with fake IDs and shit like that, that's always fun. See people like react, like, oh my god, you're like, whatever, man, just get the fuck in there and just take their ID and just get the fuck in there. Yeah, it's 21 and older. I know they want to drink, but I don't want to get them in trouble or I don't want to get the club or bar in trouble. So you just take their ID and just tell them, you know, just get your ass in there and enjoy. Damn, you were mad, chill security, bro. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna kick people, I'm not gonna kick people out. Just give them the big old X's on their uh, hands yeah, every once in a while. You have that douchebag. Yeah, you have that douchebag that comes in. It's a real dick, so you just put the X on his fucking forehead. <laughs> <laughs> so can't really I, actually, 
I saw this thing where, where kids started uh, putting glue on their hand before they go to clubs, so then when you write the X on it, they can just peel it right off. Yeah, yeah, but you can always see that, or you can feel it on their hand when they do it, because the pen doesn't go across, so, you know, like I said, put it on their forehead, put it somewhere else, you know, write, write a big dick on their forehead, something of that sort. Yeah. Uh, Larry, how's the, uh, how's everything going with you, How, the podcast and work and everything? Well, you know, working in the grocery store, it's always fun. You know that from working with me. Yeah, of course. We've lost people. We've gained people. People have quit, gone on their lunch, never came back. <laughs> Shit, really? <laughs> we, had, we had someone last week, dude. We had someone last week. Went on lunch, went on lunch, never came back. Is that where you guys working right now? No, I, I, I moved out of my, uh, my parents' house, so I don't work there anymore. But me and Larry used to work at a grocery store in our hometown together. Yeah, All right. I, still, I still work at the grocery store. I gotcha. It has its moments. It it has its moments there. It really yeah, does. It really does. There's some. some... I don't. <laughs> so I think someone fell yesterday in the parking lot. The ambulance had to come. Shit. Sounds like a great think... time to me. Larry. Yeah. Have, have you ever heard the famous story from our grocery store of the sushi chef who uh, got arrested for stealing? Not the current one, or no, no, no. Like way back when it was still a stop and shop, actually. No, I, I never heard this story. Okay, so, so there was a sushi chef that worked there, and uh, and he like, I think all he got that day on his way out was ten cucumbers, and for some reason he like, he claims he forgot, but he just kind of walked out with them. Yeah, and and then the, they like called the police and everything. This was back when uh, when Stop and Shop had a, a security guard, and it was the he only worked like one day a week, and that was the one day he worked. So he like he like held the or he like stopped the guy and like called the police and everything. But the guy made it out to his car right as the the police were getting there. And so you know the woods on the side, like uh, on the right yes. side, if you're facing the building. When the police yep. came, he he started sprinting into there. So they had to go on like a manhunt for this guy. This like, and and of course he was like the most stereotypical Asian sushi chef, and uh, and they had to go on a manhunt for him because he stole like ten cucumbers or something. And it was just like <laughs> it was so weird. It, it, yeah, it's really the only story I know of where the security at Tops actually had to do anything. To stop the man from eating sushi. Jesus. Well, he wasn't eating sushi that time, but yeah. He, 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 hey, he had a plan with 10 cucumbers that we don't know about. It, it was just, I don't know. I just always <laughs> think it's so funny cucumbers. to just imagine like the police and sheriffs in our area combing through those woods for some guy. Because he was like laying in the brush or in the like uh, bushes and stuff after he ran through there. It's just so funny to the imagery of like a bunch of cops like roaming through the woods trying to find this guy because he stole 10 cucumbers. He's a smart man trying to do it that way. No, he's not. He because he claimed he he did it by accident. If he just did it by accident, when the cops came, he should have just turned around and went inside and bought it. <laughs> like that would have been the he, smart he thing. Uh, yeah, uh, he just definitely panicked. just panicked. Fucking... What, 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 can, can you even go to jail for like stealing like twenty, not even twenty dollars worth of food? Like, what are they gonna do? Well, it, it depends. Did he use a savings card? Yeah. No, he didn't. He didn't even go to the <laughs> register. I was trying to make a funny joke there because, you know, we have a savings card. You know, you save money. My bad. Flew over my head. You're... Too but, yeah, you know. He probably got more trouble from running from the cops than he would have just been yeah. if he would have oh, just probably. Probably. do it. Probably. Yeah. But, you know, other than, other than that, the podcasts are going well. We're still trying to grow the audience, you know. Went from seven viewers the last time we talked to, like, 25. Yeah, we so yeah, really yeah. we're somewhere Good in the shit. ten to twenty range right now. Ever since we hopped on YouTube, we really boosted our uh, our viewership. So is this oh, that's uh, are we all gonna be recorded for this then later on? This, this is like we'll live streamed on YouTube and recorded Hey-o. at the same time. So uh, so when the live stream Welcome, ends, <laughs> I just uh, I just make the YouTube video private and then uh, later I'll re- repost it uh, on Sunday is when we post. So. Yeah, so oh, that's gotcha. why we encourage people to subscribe and turn on notifications so that whenever yeah, we're yeah. recording live, you can get the episodes a little early. And also with, um, yeah, to go off that, also to go with our podcast, we added a female co-host to the sports podcast. 
Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, Hello. Thirst trap. My idea. Thirst trap. My idea. <laughs> Oh, oh, I, th no. I think Larry uh -oh. throws on us over there. Uh oh, he's oh. gone. From a from a from a business standpoint, it makes the most sense. You know, yeah. if you see a hot girl, you're more likely to click on it than I, it's not. It's an audio know? podcast, but I mean, you're close. Yeah. Okay. The oh. sound. Yeah, okay, female it's like, voice. It's like guys playing video games. Listen, like yeah, yeah, you hear a gamer games. girl and just. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> it's just like that. All right, I got the I got the ultimate question for you boys. All right. Would you rather drink cum that you know is clean or a drug addict's piss? Uh, drug what addict's piss. What was the piss. first thing? C cum that you know is clean or a drug addict's piss. Like no STDs probably. or anything. Oh, that's the worst probably. thing that could be in the <laughs> piss, bro. Well, real quick though, is it your cum or is it somebody else's cum? Uh, that's, that's you, you don't, it, it's not your cum and you don't know whose cum it is. You just know it's clean. It's clean. Is, um, it, is this a one to one not. ratio? By the way, I gotta get a little bit more information. What, this is what a do you one mean? to one. So is it like a shot, like a four ounce shot of cum versus sure. like sixteen? <laughs> no, 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 or is no, it just four it, ounces of pee versus four it's ounces like of a, cum? It's like a shot of each. Oh, oh yeah, pee all day. You I'll do the really, pee all day. You really pick a druggie's piss? I mean, well, just piss, the, man. What's the worst that could be in it? I don't. Yeah, I honestly have no idea, but I feel like something bad. Can come STDs can't. You can't. I'm not saying an STD. STDs through fucking piss, man. Yeah, the piss is just gonna enter your stomach. The moment it gets in there, it'll mix with the acid. You'll probably just feel like shit because your stomach will be full of acid. Oh, but yeah. if you have anything to eat, you'll Fuck. probably just be fine. I, I guess you're right. It says there's no scientific evidence to support that drinking urine. Oh wait, is beneficial. Never mind. Take it back. To me, it's more the standpoint that I don't want to feel that like slimy, nasty white. You yeah, know, I'd rather just have the one like, and one and done. Yeah, just, like, yeah, right, yeah. Back, what what if it was watery uh, cum? God, like when you jizz that, like for the fourth time and it's just all water and there's yeah, no like yeah, geez, yeah you got the white stuff to it. it. Quarantine's it really hitting too. you a little too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the hell did I just come back into? <laughs> Larry, I, I just uh, clean cum. Like, like, Would you rather take a shot of clean cum or a drug addict's piss? I'd rather go with the first option. I, know, I don't. I do not know where that man's body's been. Okay. Just mm. piss, dog. It's like I, I don't want to. I don't want to feel the fucking cum. Like, I'm definitely going with the clean like, cum. Fucking bro. go down. My All right. Throat. So hold on. So I, this is Paul. So I'm going with the piss. Who else is going with me on the piss? Anyone else? I'm. I'm, I'm with. Yeah, I'm with you. All right. So who's this? Jock. All right, Jock. All right, cool. We got two for piss. Anyone else in this group? Are, are Larry and Billy both on? Uh, Everyone else they're on both on like, cum. Clean water. No, we water. just said cum. We didn't say watery. We just said cum in general. What about, so what about a, you, Nick? It's, it's a two to two I don't right know. now. I, I'm looking up uh, what you can get Answer from drinking piss right now. <laughs> Answer the question. Maybe. Yeah, you can't, okay, be, apparently, you can't be researching it. No one else is it. it. Apparently in ancient Egypt, China, India, and Aztec, they drank piss of other people to uh, cure a variety of ailments, including... Asthma, ar arthritis, allergies, acne, cancer, indigestion, and migraines. So I guess I'm drinking the piss. It could, cure, it could uh, cure my asthma. Let's go. Piss, piss for the win. Piss for the win. I agree. I agree with you two. I, I just have a feeling that no matter how clean the cum is, the second it like it'll get like stuck in your throat in the next hour, you're gonna be like. <sighs> Yeah, oh, like get it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. By, by the way, this, this podcast has been brought to you by R. Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, wow. So R. Kelly, yeah, I, I, was so gonna, I was going to ask you all this, to stand up Thank and you, give R. yourself Kelly. your own uh, fucking shot of piss and cum so we could test out the theory real quick. Oh, I was live, waiting for live mine on in, the, air. in the mail. <laughs> live on air. Bro. I got to pee yeah. right now. We could try it out. All right, you can, you can pee for you. No, wait, Jack, you pee into Billy's I mouth. I pee for Billy, yeah. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. This is going to a whole other level, yeah, guys. Yeah, all right, let's, let's uh, do it in. Calm down, bro. We need, we need a little 180 here, I think. Jock, take it. Oh, shit. I, okay, I don't have anything. Jock anymore. regrets it. All right, Come on, Jock. We're talking about this, still. <laughs> Okay, yeah, all right. Oh, okay, wait. Well, I got another one. I got another one. I, I, I think I think I've asked this before in the Discord, but not on the show. Would you rather rape someone and get away with it, or and no one knows, like no one ever, or would you rather get raped and everyone knows about it? 
Raped by a man specifically. It's a, a fuck situation. Quiet... Right? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the point, Jack. Probably get raped. Definitely get raped. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I feel like, I, yeah. yeah, I feel like in terms of morals, that would definitely be the. Oh, you're real Hold quiet up. over there. I mean, Hold blow up. my mind, it. man. <laughs> blow my mind. <laughs> I didn't know I was stepping into this I, today. I told you it was a not safe for work fucking podcast. I told you. Oh yeah, but I didn't know I was gonna get cummed on and Bro, beat on and get raped <laughs> in the process of it. All right, all right, okay. Last one. Last, last dirty. Would you rather? Take take a take the shot of cum, but you don't know if it's clean this time. It could have STDs or get cum on your face. Like someone comes on your face. Take the shot, bro. Holy shit. That's actually I'll hard take the rest. I really don't know. You really want to be the next person on fucking... I'm just saying, what if you cum, swallow like, a bunch of STDs or some shit? Dude. No one said they're filming it and sending it to fucking Pornhub. Okay, but no I'd one rather, said they're making rather, you a star, Bill. I would rather drink it myself and get someone that see someone jack off onto my face, bro. Bro, you, know, I, you, you gotta watch that. You gotta watch that. I, you gotta watch what I watched. I'd take Wait, a little cum me? shot, bro. I don't know. Next I don't. I don't want to drink that shit. Uh, I think it would. God, I think damn. it would jot just because I don't know if it's clean cum. It in the face. If it was clean cum, I think it. I think it would be a little harder. But just because it's, not, I don't know if it's clean cum. I don't know where it's coming from. I think, I'm, I think I'm just gonna have to take it on the face. Hey, yo. Yeah, yeah, alright. I'll just yeah, bounce it off my forehead. Just aim for the <laughs> forehead. Can I take the, the the bounce of it and be Fucking fine? So I'll take it onto his chest. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, wherever it's gonna go, I guess. But long as it's not all over my face, so I'll take the shot in the face, specifically the forehead. Yeah. I, I Man, really... to flex that. Larry, his, his Larry what is, about you? His head is cum proof. Telekinesis. Uh. <laughs> Or just use I'm it for some boat. hair gel. Uh, oh no! Uh, I'm, I'm the same boat. I'm, I'm the same boat as him, you know. Just forehead. Take yeah, it to the right, forehead. Right. No, nowhere else on the face. Yo, what the hell <laughs> Billy, Billy's the only. Billy's the only one that wants to drink cum. <laughs> yeah, twice now. This twice. twice. Now, really wants I, to drink I, it. Billy's Billy, two for two on the die hard ride or die cum game, bro. I, I mean, I mean, did you specify that it had to be a man? Yeah. Oh, that's a good point. Yes, oh, no, I, I I meant like semen. That's hella gay, bro. <laughs> you, you never specified that in the beginning, by the way. That I I mean I thought that was pretty clear. You can't change it now. I'm just saying. <laughs> Jock, Billy, what wow. do you have? Let me guess. Nothing. You know it, bro. You Every it. day. Every fucking day, bro. God, you guys are the least helpful. Really, the worthless co-host ever. I know. <laughs> Very much so. I mean, nah, I got nothing. <laughs> I think myself, like, maybe I got something. <laughs> did, did anything uh, interesting happen in college this week? Some fucking school um, shooting or some shit? No, I wish, bro. That's I'm going to have to start committing yeah. domestic terrorism at your school so you guys have something to talk about. Chill, bro. You don't even, you don't even be on the podcast at that point. You'll be in prison. <laughs> okay, but you two will have something to talk about. Well, then yeah. you can tell us real life how it is to either eat some cum or... <laughs> Get, yeah. get peed on while you're in there for us. Yeah, it's a yeah. real life event. Yeah. Maybe Art. Maybe R. Kelly's needing a prison mate. You never know. Yeah, I could bunk <laughs> with him. He probably knows people. R. Yeah, Kelly's lonely. Cool. He's looking for a new fund. That's not white meat. <laughs> white meat. Yes, exactly. He, he likes those BBWs. <laughs> <laughs> Did any of you guys even watch that special with him or whatnot? What's special? The, tr the truth all of, of the R. Kelly, like the three-part special or whatnot of all the no. stuff he did. No, no I, I don't care. No. Oh, yeah. I, listen, he... If you're what super is, bored, is, check it out. It's, what, it's, did, what, was, what was it called? Coming Out the Closet or some shit like that? Was yeah, like, something uh, of the sort. <laughs> something something like that, right? That was the best music series ever, man. Coming Out the Closet. Something like that. I don't know. Pull it up. <sighs> what about Coming in the Closet? <laughs> Okay. Well, you sound like the next. That's question. A, that's the, that's the ten year anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> what about fucking uh shit? What's the what's the who's the comedian who jerked off in front of people and, and it was this? Oh, it's uh Louis Louis C K. Why was Louis that a scandal? Because didn't he ask girls if he could do that and then he just jerked off in front of them? Like I mean that's weird. Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah like, it's, not, it's not illegal or anything. Uh, I mean it's just kind of odd. Well, it's the whole like Me Too movement was going on during that. 
period of time. So it's yeah, just more scandalous because yeah, but like it didn't you know. it didn't do anything. That'd be like this guy had sex with a woman who consented. Like okay, what's the wrong? Like what? I mean, I think it was more. What he did. Didn't yeah, didn't but I he, think it's did more he do the, it? Wait, wait, Louis. I think it's more the situation of like they felt or they were saying that they felt like he was in a position of power. Because he was their I boss, hate that shit. they were they working all with them. So we recently talked about that with the Coleman Carson shit. It's so fucking, so retarded. There's rarely any evidence. In fact, there's usually evidence to the contrary. Although I don't know with this Louis C.K. case, but they they just always say that if it's someone who is any amount of famous, it just means that the the women were coerced somehow. They couldn't possibly just be interesting. Uh, okay, right. Let's see. It just could. It could have just be his fetish, and that's just what Louis C.K. is into. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, as soon as they sat down in his room, still wrapped in their winter jackets, Louis C.K. asked if he could take out his penis. The woman said they thought it was a joke and laughed it off. And quote, and then he really did it. He proceeded to take all his clothes off and get completely naked and masturbated. Okay, so maybe he didn't ask. Uh, well, I mean, he okay. asked, but they didn't really say yes. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if they thought he was joking, then I can see the the great the great line. Shows, blah, blah, blah. Oh wait, wait, wait. Uh, so then, qu the then question for you guys: what? If uh, Louis C.K. was gonna have a concert, would you guys still go see him after all this? Does it even concert? matter to you? I, I don't think he sings any. Uh, but no, I, I don't give a fuck. I, yeah, I'm artists, 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 artists can be separated, fuck. even though art is uh, inspired by what happens to the artist. Okay, this is actually kind of funny, honestly. This could be a bit. Apparently, wow, he called one of these chicks and asked if they could, like, uh, or if she could come to one of his shows. Invited to one of... Wait. Invited... Wait, wait. Called... Oh, no. She called him to invite him to one of her shows. And during the phone conversation, she claimed she heard him masturbating. <laughs> and then, and then uh, apparently he asked... Rebecca Corey, who's a comedian, if he could masturbate in front of her, but she declined. It doesn't say he, like, did it anyway, but... Damn. Cock blocked. Uh, she's, got a, <laughs> she's got a nice... She's got a weird kink, man. Don't hate the man for it. Yeah, that, it, this kind of just sounds like... Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of torn right now. Okay, what... What do you okay? I'm not saying this is true, but if he, if they never explicitly said like please stop or anything, what are you guys' opinions on this? Do you think it's just a weird human, I mean, or do you think he's a criminal? It's kind of weird to just pull your cock out in front of people. No, but like if, if he said it, there were no objections, and then he did it, and there were still no objections. What what are your opinions? Not necessarily um, they they say they like it, but they just never objected at any point. What do you think? They never object to it. If they don't object to it, they're like, no, put that away, then there's really no case to be had, you know? I feel like at that point, they're both into it. You know, your friend shows your cock, shows him your cock, and you're like, no, put that away. If you don't say that, then, like, obviously you're going to like it. Yeah. Obviously you're going to. Oh, God. Yeah. Paul, Larry, do you guys want to ruin your careers real quick? What do you think? I look at it as like if it was the reverse situation. Either I walked in on Louis C.K. himself, or if there was just some woman of same equal attractiveness just like flicking her bean in front of me. I don't like, know if it'd be the situation cool. like <laughs> it would matter to me. I would just I'd walk in, see it, be like, all right, this is a story to tell people. Walk the fuck out of the room, and that'd be the end of it. It wouldn't be to a point where yeah, I'm like, I, I, think, I need to tell other people. I need to turn it into a whole court case. It's not I like think Louis C.K. was. The big problem with that is how men and women look at sex so differently. Yeah, I don't. I don't true. care what anyone says. Women are not nearly as horny as men. That's why you catch men lacking way more often. <laughs> you, you you've never been like. Or you've you've do be never lacking. caught a woman lacking in 4K, bro. But the amount of men you catch lacking in 4K. Too many. I mean, we caught we caught the Pope lacking in 4K, bro. <laughs> we caught the Pope shit, like it's some Instagram thoughties post. And, yeah, every man is hornier than any fucking singular woman. I I just even the Pope, even the Pope. Just I refuse saying. to believe that oh. men and women look at sex the same way. That's why I think that's a flawed way of thinking. Because because I agree. If I walked in, some chick was like, "Can I show you my pussy?" and then pulled it out and started, yeah, like you said, flicking her bean. I'd be like, "Yeah, like okay, cool." <laughs> But I have a feeling that a lot of women would would feel very different about that. So I, that's why I don't know. I'm conflicted. 
But it's it's to the point of where you had to take it, though. That's the thing that's the, the turning point, in my opinion. Yeah, women see sex as different than men, but at the same time, you just see this situation, you're just like, all right, what a pervert. And then you just kind of walk out of the situation. It's not like Louis yeah. C.K. was like slamming the door behind their back. Facts. He was like, sit <laughs> down, down. Sit down. Yeah. You're going to watch you me what? masturbate. That's watch right. You don't want to lose your job or you see me blow my load. Okay, wait, uh, wait. You, know, you know, I'm very confused on how this. Okay, yeah. Okay, I have a quote here that says he abused his power. I'm very confused on how if he's doing this to other female comedians. I mean, they might not be the same amount of power, but how is he like it's. And there are no quotes in here. I, I mean, I'm trying to read through this New York Times article best I can while, like, talking. But I'm not seeing anything where he was like, if you don't watch me, then you're not going to make it big in this town, lady. So I don't understand yeah. how he's abusing his power. Un unprofessional and inappropriate. I can get down with that. You Abusing his power? I'm just not seeing it. Yeah, I agree. But again, I'm it just, just comes down to mere perspective of things, right? Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Oh, see, this is this is where it gets hairy. One of the girls says when he started masturbating, uh, she would like they became paralyzed. Her and her friends. So what? Like not literally, Jack, but like like they froze. They were tranced. He, they were entranced. <laughs> no, I don't think that's what she means. So that's Magnum that's what I'm saying. Dog. Technically, they never objected, but at the same time, they were so according to them, they were so mortified that they couldn't move. Okay, well that's their own fault. Okay, you but, just look okay away. but also it says they were <laughs> they were screaming and laughing in shock. That's laughing and uh, I, this is a weird man. I don't really know. I I don't think you could really. Did he get? La convicted? Yeah, laughing, laughing. God, it's probably laughing just part of like his fantasy. Implies that it, you're like okay with it, like. Or, or like not why? necessarily okay, but that you're no, not, not, like, not okay with it. But that, like, it must have been know. small, bro. It must have been really small. Yeah. Jail. Also, how the fuck does that come up in a conversation where you're just randomly like, "Hey, can I pull up my cock in front of you?" Like, uh, no, she she said he did it literally the second he pulled, like the second they closed the door, he asked if he could masturbate in front of them, and neither of them said anything, so they just pulled his cock out. But like, like, like when he was talking to the female comedian, like, like you think oh. they were just having a regular ass no, conversation? No, I, it, it doesn't say like, anything about him mentioning hey. it prior to that moment. Like, literally, they just came over one time, or like came to backstage, oh. I think. And he did that. He shut his door and he's oh, like, okay. hey, can I show you my cock? And they were like, uh, and then he's like, sweet, and pulled his cock out. So either he's really proud of it or it's just a kink. It's just a kink. Why not both? Uh, not just a kink. Uh, if they were laughing. I'm, I'm not movie, seeing anything. That. I'm not seeing anything about him getting jail time. Only things about his career being tanked, which I don't really think is true. Yeah, that's what I was looking at too. Was like, I think it just put it, it put him back. Like, I guess he lost oh, the thirty-five sure. million dollar Netflix special deal. Oh yeah, didn't he have a show of or a movie or something? Yeah, he has his show. I think there's like three seasons on it on uh, FX. But no, in Louis C.K. Bag, bro, how do you fumble that bag? Okay, I don't By know who cup, Will Hickman is, people, but he bro. says he's kind of at the top of his game. I think his ordeal that he went through may be good for him. I, uh, okay, I'm I'm not really sure what that means. So yeah, that's kind of. In a recent email, he wrote that he is excited to get. This is way like from way back then, but I'm excited to get back on the road. I really enjoy performing stand up comedy so much. Okay, so kind of, you know what? All I'm saying hey, is, you know what? He was kink shamed. I thought that's what the women were against. <laughs> I thought the women were against this. All I'm saying is, is if if I got a thirty five million dollar bag coming my way. I wouldn't do shit to Billy, fumble that. Billy, what did we just talk about? Who's hornier? Who gets caught in 4K, Billy? It's the men. This is exactly... <laughs> this is more I proof I that I am right. Hold. Men are more horny. He had 35 million K on the line, and he decided wanking off in front of some girls without without their explicit permission was worth more. I don't even know how that's possible to be that horny, bro. I really don't. Like, fucking that, horn dog, bro. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't say I've ever gotten that horny either, either, but apparently it I, had, I Especially considering he's a superstar and he could I mean, he's not a he's not a great looking guy. Oh wait, he's married, isn't he? Oh wait, he he's married, isn't he? Or is he divorced? I think he's uh -oh. I think he's divorced. He's divorced. Uh -oh. he's divorced. Yeah, he's divorced. I was gonna say, maybe if he's not getting like poon from his say, wife, like... but he could. I mean, he's not a great-looking guy, but he's rich and famous. There are plenty of de like decent-looking ladies who would bang him just for that. And he's funny. That's the most important thing. He's funny. 
I don't know. I couldn't see. I don't that. Bro, that bro, with that I don't understand. I don't understand how you could be that horny, bro. The fumble a thirty-five million dollar bag. The fumble a thirty-five million dollar bag. Well, again, it goes back to him having a kink, though, right? The power, the excitement, being able to just jerk off in front of a woman five minutes before you're about to go on stage, or right when you got off stage, you know. <laughs> You want to let up, you want to you want to let out that excitement, yeah. So, I feel like I feel like having thirty five million dollars is a high in itself, or maybe apparently not as, not as much as wanking account? his fucking cock in front of him. I mean, he, he he's already made enough money off of having three you know TV specials or series on FX, uh, doing his own comedy specials and stuff. I mean, money's money, right? But yeah, at the same I time, I just don't like, understand. The thirty five million know. dollars is just like a chink in the armor for this guy in comparison to and other he'll things. He'll definitely he'll definitely bounce back. Like if he. If he started doing shit today, he'd probably still sell out theaters. And oh, stuff. after after COVID, everyone's oh, yeah. gonna be wanting to watch stuff, go into right. theaters. So he'll he'll be uh filling up some seats. Yeah, for sure. He, you know, maybe he just wanted that post nut clarity when he was on stage. You know, <laughs> he needed it. Yeah, he was like, it makes me funnier, it. bro. Oh, that yeah. that'll be his opening joke. <laughs> He's yeah, like, yeah, I just jerked opening. off with a bunch of chicks in the back. Off. I can see everything so clearly now. That was an awful <laughs> idea. <laughs> that was... <sighs> no, okay, did the show go on? Did it go, like... Yeah, no, yeah, bro. Of course it did. Apparently, fuck yeah. apparently in some email, either him or his lawyer said that he doesn't recall any specifics of a conversation, but I never threatened anyone. But wait, so that means what? Okay, well, you don't have to threaten someone. To... I know, but I, uh, I, that probably means someone accused him of threatening someone. But I didn't oh. see any of that in here. I don't know. Too much legal mumbo jumbo for me. Right. He must have been ecstatic for that fucking performance, though. Dude, no, nah, no, Jock. I think he walked out and he was like, "Wow, I fucked up, man. That was a really bad idea." Like, Maybe the second that post no clarity hit him, he was probably like, "That was like, that <laughs> was a like, mistake. Fuck. I should not have done that." He, that would he, be yeah, but that doesn't make sense because there's multiple girls that came about it. So I mean, it's not like he did it once. This... True. And only yeah, was one this girl. Time okay, multiple okay. girls. But to be fair, maybe he just reaches that amount of horniness where he can't horniness where he can't think, and then he nuts, and then he's like, "Wow, that was a bad idea." It's like banging an ugly girl at a bar. Like you just you just can't help yourself. You do it, and then you're just like you know, and you're like, yeah, that was a mistake. That's true. You have that tunnel vision when you're horny, so you're right on that. <laughs> but for, yeah, like vision. every like five shows, he has to call some chicks into the VIP section. And he's like, I need this. I need. I need to jerk off in front of someone. Interesting. Very interesting. It's a very strange kink, but hey, man. He eats their own, right? Hey, can't knock the hustle. <laughs> yeah, you can't knock the hustle at all, man. I mean, it's not like R. Kelly again trying to piss all over ladies. So, you know. Did he do that with no consent, though? Isn't it... or, or is that again? I, mean, I think, I think the, I think the like bigger thing them? of it was all the underage ladies that he did oh, it to. Yeah, the yeah, underage right. ladies was the problem. If it just came out he was pissing on people, people would be like, all right. People that's that's, weird. Weird. that's weird, but. Yeah, that's that's weird. weird. But at the R. same Kelly time, it wasn't that. that. It was well, just like, like alright, G. But what kids involved? All right. Yeah, it was more like the sprinkles <laughs> on the side of the Sunday or the cherry on top. It was like, wait, Andy's pissing on people? Come on, have R. Guys, Kelly. Have you guys ever seen that uh, that news piece where this like, uh, I think it's like eighteen or nineteen year old kid got uh, banned from the internet for life, and he got like jail time and stuff because he he banged this like fifteen year old who claimed to be seventeen or eighteen. You guys ever heard about that? Wait, I gotta look this up. What? Banned from internet. Strange uh, story. So I didn't I get a chance to listen to your guys' podcast before I came on today. Uh, but is every topic always sexualized like this? <laughs> no. Um, I'm not no. <laughs> straws right now. This is all I can think of. I don't know what's going on with Nick today, bro. He's Nick is horny out. today. Yeah, <laughs> Nick needed to whack off before he came on. Nick's no, no, no I did right my now. business before I came on. 19-year-old. Wait, maybe this is it. Yeah, 19 year old like, spent 25 years on off. sex offender registry. I'm pretty sure even the mom of the girl he banged tried to tried to get him this. Okay, there's yeah, this girl was 14, but on the app Hot or Not, she claimed to be 17 while he was 19. And she even admitted that to the cops. This is gay, honestly. All right, what do you think of this? What do you guys think of this? You, you think he may have finished his time behind bars, but for the teenager you're about I to. Mean, 
the fucking bitch like I mean, straight up lied to him. Like, and she admitted to lying. True, but still, I mean, fourteen yeah, saying I mean, that yeah, she's seventeen, she's itself. still under yeah. eighteen. That's still the law. Yeah, so, no, so, yeah. nineteen and Regardless. seventeen year olds. Well, technically, in New York State, seventeen is age of consent. I don't know what state he was in, but nineteen and seventeen is a comparable gap. If you're within four years, uh, you're you're good. Like. 14 year olds and 18 year olds can bang 18 and uh, 22 year olds or 17 and 14 and 18. Year olds, I mean, yeah, if, if, if there's what? a four year gap, That's us. if there's that a four year us. gap, I think you have to have parents consent or some shit like that, but you're not, you're not like a sex offender. 14 and 18. Okay. But still, but still let, let's just assume he was in New York. So 17 is age of consent. What, what do you think? That's a big difference though. That's a big, is a big boy. difference. I, I'm 14 not fucking basically saying I'm gonna go fuck bro. a 14 year old. Don't get Jesus mad at me. Christ, I don't, no, I'm just, I don't like, make like, the law. Like, how is that a thing? Like, it doesn't even make sense. What is wrong with you, Nick? Oh my god. 14 is pretty yeah. best and chill out. Okay. Now that I've been accused of being a pedophile for probably the hundredth time since I started the show, <laughs> uh, what do you guys think? She it's told me she was 17 well. and just got out of high school. So it's a two year difference. I didn't think it was that big a deal. She she falsely registered as an adult on a dating app. I mean, I, I'm I don't not see the this guy's being fault. this guy's fault. Not the guy's fault. Not the guy's fault. Not the guy's fault. If she lied, not about, the if guys. She lied about age, and if she's going to continue, it's not his fault. I feel like, what are you going to ask her? Are you sure you're 18? <laughs> Pop the ID like, out now. Let me see. Yeah, like. Change my friend who's all right, well let's let's just talk about morals, though, guys. I mean, are you all you're all out of high school now, right? Yeah, we're yeah. we're all eighteen. Twenty seven. I'm the oldest. All right, twenty seven. Twenty seven. Copy. So you can you guys imagine yourself the moment you stepped out of the high school scene to go back if you had no connection with somebody that you already previously know? Could you see yourself being with a high school girl? Because I think no, there's that, that disconnect that's, that's at the, the moment question, that though. you become. That's no, I understand, question. but what I'm. True, but what I'm saying is, like, moralistically, regardless of it being well, lawful or not, well, my I think the point of... My girlfriend's six months younger than me, and she's still in high school, so the answer would be yes. But as you guys knew as each as other from they're... high school. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm not saying, oh, like, you're, you're one year you're... into college, and well, you're on a dating I, app. I think, I think it depends. And you're looking age. at girls that are still back in high school. Well, no, this, this girl said she... 17 still high school age. No, bro. no, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I it, it said, it says, I just got out of high, high school. I'm confused on whether that was him or her saying that. I, I think that was she him. She told me she I was 17. Different. I just got out of She's high school. She's 14. She wouldn't have just gotten out of high school. I know, but she was lying, Jack. That's what I'm getting oh, at. Oh, oh, oh. She, she said she, she said was 17. She just got out of high school. She oh, said she was okay. 17. I and I think it's saying that she, I see. she claimed she had just got. I was 17 when I graduated from high school. I think uh, it's. Well, my point was in terms of dating oh, in high school. I think it's different if you know the person before. Like, if you're chasing, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, if you know the person beforehand, that's fine. Like but you, I'm saying, if you went to call, if you went to high school with them, and you're like, oh, okay, maybe I'm home. That's not bad. But if you're looking for high school girls, no, like, okay, okay, okay. College, I like, agree. Looking for high school girls yeah. is just the wrong thing. But I'm saying, if you're like out at a restaurant or something, and you meet a girl who's only like a year or less, or like in that range younger than you, and and she happens to go to the high school in your area. I don't like, and she happens to be a high schooler, and she's only like a year or whatever younger than you. I don't think that's that bad of a thing. But I think if you're like going to the local high school trying to find a high schooler, yeah, that's kind of fucked up. But again, in this situation, though, you were telling us that the guy was, he was on, on a yeah, he was website, on a found yeah. a girl. She was cute. She said she was 17 because she signed up. But I would imagine somewhere during that conversation, like, hey, what do you do? She's like, oh, I'm just in high school. Or I'm just getting out of high school. At that point, I would be like, all right. Nice he, talking to you. He, he's not, Peace. Trying, to, he's not trying to like go out with her. He's just trying to bang her. That's the whole point of the app. I mean, oh yeah. No. But like, I I don't know. I could I could. I don't think I would do it because I'm nervous of things like this happening. <laughs> but like, if yeah, I was bro. 19 and and a girl who was 17 was trying to hook up with me, I don't really see that as like that. Like it. Like okay, being like. 18 and being 15, that's like a really big difference to me. But being like 17 and being 19, that's not a huge difference to me, even though they're very, they're, they're almost the same amount of time. I think the amount of maturity you go through between like, like 12 to like 16 or 17 is so wide that until you hit like 17 or 18 ish, you're just at such a immature level that it's not comparable. Yeah. 
To me, it's a no. <sighs> I think the guy did it wrong. I would have been trolled for high school girls so, okay, on any you, dating website. You really think he deserves to be on the sex registry for 25 years and not be allowed to use the internet ever? You know if you're in a public park in most states, and if you piss in a public park and a cop yeah, catches know, you, you'll crazy. be on the sex registry. I know. So, crazy. I mean, there's crazy laws yeah, about it. Yeah, but I don't think it. that's don't right either. That's the difference. It. This is purely our opinion, and I don't think getting caught for pissing is right either. Oh, that's true. Yeah, 100%. I agree on that. But in this situation, I mean, yeah, it sucks he's being on the sex registry, but, I mean, that's just probably him hiring a bad lawyer at the same time. Uh, okay, but... I. Again, the crazy thing is not that it was a 17-year-old girl he got caught with and they're trying to prosecute him for that. It's that it's a girl who lied about being 17. Like, if she was actually 17 in reality, this kid would have gotten no punishment. But she was 14 in reality. That's the whole reason he got punished. Otherwise, he wouldn't have had a punishment. Theoretically, at least. I, I, at least I assume. Because I'm pretty sure his, uh, the girl's parents were outraged when they found out. And then after it was too late and they had already started a case, I'm pretty sure uh, the girl's mom like changed teams and tried like what I think it was after the conviction was over and she realized he got put on the sex offender list for like 25 years and he wasn't allowed to use the uh, the internet or anything. Oh, it also says he's not allowed to talk to anyone under the age of 17 uh, except the immediate family, which means like his brothers and sisters. So if he has a cousin who's like. <laughs> like under 17 he's not allowed to talk can't to talk to them that's Holy crazy shit. i think the whole ban from the internet thing is just petty he's also like, he's banned from going to any establishment that serves alcohol and he has to come home before 8 p.m damn bro. like that's Jesus. pretty rough for for theoretically for banging how long? A 17 25 year. years no for his life he has to do all that for his life he's just on the registry for 25 years i'd kill myself i'd kill myself yeah, honestly yeah i agree I'm ending it bro I don't know. I think that's a little too far for a kid who got duped into it. I just trust. Oh, that's kind of disgusting. I would, I would, I would, I would kill, I would kill the girl and then I kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Then you'll really look like a good guy. Then you look like a good guy. It doesn't then. matter, bro. I'm fucking dead. What are they going to think? Oh, he was a horrible person because he murdered her. Well, yeah, I'm all, I'm already what are you talking about. If, if he that. killed himself right now, everyone would, well, most people would be like, wow, like this poor guy uh, got lied to and stuff. And, and he just got super unlucky and it was so bad. He committed suicide. If he goes and kills this girl, he'd be like, okay, maybe this guy wasn't lied to when he's full of shit and he convinced, convinced this girl to say it was a lie so he didn't look so bad. Obviously, he just wanted to fuck this little girl and then kill her and then kill himself. <laughs> what the what? Fuck? You have a point. Oh, what is point? happening? So on a side note, this, I found this out. This uh, escalated uh, quickly. Yeah, right. Does. So I found out. Uh, uh, the other day on a YouTube, I didn't know this, was that I guess 21 different states that it's legal to marry your uh, cousin, your I first cousin. I thought it was cousin. second cousin. No, first cousin. First cousin? Jeez. First Damn. cousin in 21 states. I thought this would fall Keep along the, the lines. Hey, Nick, bro. <laughs> right? That's all you, man. What do you mean? What? What? <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> you can do it that's in New York. You, oh, that's awful, dude. Let's go. Are you looking up the list? Uh, I, I just looked up – okay, now my FBI agent's going to be mad. I looked up, can you marry your first cousin? And it says in New yeah. York and what? North Carolina, those are the first two that came up. Bro, you're you're in your legal boundaries. It says 24 states actually. Let's see. Oh. Let's, let's go through the list. All right. How, Throw it out there right, for can us. Everyone We're all guess in Alabama. It? How many yeah. yeehaw states do you think are going to be on here? At least I think Alabama the majority of the 24 would be yeehaw states. Okay, so there are Alabama, three categories. Tennessee. Cousin marriage legal, first cousin marriage prohibited, and first cousin, cousin marriage legal under certain circumstances. Uh, okay, so we're going to ignore where it's prohibited. Okay, so it's legal in New Hampshire, Vermont, New York, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New Jersey. Uh, fuck, what's MD? Oh, is that Maryland? Maryland. D That's D Maryland. Virginia, North Carolina, uh, South Carolina, Georgia, Alabama, of course, Tennessee, Florida, Texas, New Mexico, Colorado, <laughs> California, Alaska, and Hawaii. California. And then there are six states where under certain circumstances you're allowed to, which are Maine, Indiana, Illinois, Wisconsin, Utah, and Arizona. I wonder what those Damn, certain what the circumstances. circumstances. Yeah. Wait, Maybe yeah, it's you like have, a, you if have, your cousin was adopted or something. No, no, you have to go to like um, a doctor and they have to check your blood to see oh, if there's so any like problems. Kids. 
<laughs> something like that but like you have to like check the certain outliers is what the video was telling me about oh no it, no yeah. this, this says uh however first cousins can marry if they're both over uh, 65 or if both parties are over 55 uh and the court finds that they are unable to reproduce so you have to be implicated oh, over okay. 55 oh. or both of you have to be over 65 there okay so basically you just can't reproduce right. and then it's cool in, in like utah well this is utah just, specifically so I don't know. maybe the other states you have to get like a blood test but utah specifically I those, think, those are the rules hmm. i think i think that's yeah i think that's that makes sense honestly like i suppose don't want fucking incest babies being made. <laughs> so at like 18 you're like my cousin's the one for me and you just have to live it out and then you turn 65 and you're like yes fine yes <laughs> No, it's more, like, it's more like when you're on the, the park with your uh, cousin and you're like 12 and you're like, you make that pack. We're like, hey, if I never marry, you you know, when I'm 55 or whatnot, <laughs> when I'm 55 we could totally get married. We could get married. Yeah, okay. yeah totally. <laughs> oh, my God. Bunch of sick freaks. You, you break up with your first two wives when you turn 55 just so you can get there. Like, I don't need you anymore. Your first two wow. wives. We've had some great topics today, guys. Yeah, thank you guys again for inviting me on this podcast. Oh, we're not done yet. We, <laughs> still, got, we still got more time going. Oh, I'm down that. I just Let's randomly showed up. Yeah. Jock's always trying to get us out of here early. Jock? I'm not, I, I wasn't I trying wanna, to get it. I was, I I was just saying it was funny. I huh? topic from you ASAP. Any topic, fucked up topic? Any topic any... With, with, with questionable morals. Questionable morals? Um... Should be easy for you, Jack. Should be easy. <laughs> yes, Jack. Fuck. While, while you think, I'm going to shout out all our shit. Patreon.com slash Jack and the Nipple. Uh, go donate to the Anchor. I don't know the link, but if you just go on anchor.fm and, and look up Jock and the Nipple. Subscribe to the YouTube and turn on notifications. And I'll let these other two gentlemen, Paul, you go first, and then Larry. Why don't you guys shout out your shit while Jack's looking some stuff up? Yeah, so I'm the host again of the Whiskey Amateur Podcast, the only podcast hoping to solve the mysteries of the best whiskey for amateurs like you and myself. You can find me on uh, Anchor FM as well. You can find me on the main stations, uh, just at Whiskey Amateurs. Or if you want to, you can check out my website and make it easy for yourself, the one nonstop shop at www.whiskeyamateurs.com. Larry? And for me, hey, hey, you know, I'm part of two podcasts, the Face Turn Podcast, find us on anchor as well no we're promoting we're promoting anchor tonight it's fun maybe maybe they'll all sponsor us one day fucking hope so well you can sign well, up for that free uh that free uh plug on anchor though right I, i've been That's trying we and now. we read ads and they still haven't given us money well you know you have to get a thousand listens before oh. they'll pay you 15 dollars dollars they take four of that so you only actually get 11 well that'd still be yeah. better than what so, we're doing now yeah, so as I was saying, you know, follow the, go go find the face turn on all your platforms, Spotify, Apple Music, Google Podcasts, but also go find the Sports and Sanity Podcast on all the platforms as well, and go to the website, www.thesportsandsanitypodcast.com, where you can find about all our shows and all our blogs. How, how old were you guys when you realized you didn't have to type www. before everything? I can't remember the last time I typed www. Like, yeah, I mean, like a year and a half ago. I think it sounds, I wait, think it sounds wait, Jock, fancy. Wait, wait, go back? Jock only said a year bro, and a half ago? Bro, yeah, bro. I, I've been on that wave. You've been typing W? You, you're telling me you were 15, 16, like uh, almost 17 typing in www.google.com? No, I said I wasn't. Oh. I wasn't. I've been doing it forever. Maybe like 12 I figured out you didn't need it anymore. Genuinely can't remember the last time I typed in triple W. I just right, to well, feel fancy. I got a topic here. All right, what do you got, Jack? Oh, all right, God. Oh, God. so so we all know that science has brought us many many good things over the course of history, right? Uh, like right. what? Like where this is you know, like uh, the bread, seventeen genders, uh, the wheel. Uh, <laughs> I don't think that was science, but but I like anyways, it. you know, all this science has also led to a pretty good amount of death and destruction. So, of course, That's should we stop doing science? What? Jack, this is an awful question. You got to be a little more specific. All of science? We're ahead. Science. Should we quit while we're ahead, or should we should we keep going? Jack, that was. I mean, I want a miserable question. We got to keep going till we find um, time travel with science. And then yeah, we can go so back I can go back in time, like from eighth grade, bro. 
I would like to say, sorry, sorry to interrupt, but I would like to say on one of these suggested tabs on Google, it, uh, it, it asks if you can marry your first cousin in the UK and it is legal in all parts of the UK to marry your first cousin. That's hella gay, bro. (laughs) Well, no wonder they have fucked up teeth. (laughs) Chuck, I I think that's too broad of a question. I think you'd have to pick a certain part of science. That's specifically a little more. I don't know. I just tried to look up controversial moral dilemmas, and <laughs> you didn't do a very good job. I didn't, I didn't do a good job. Is a hot oh, dog? Wait, I found a BuzzFeed article. What's this? Oh, not BuzzFeed. What the hell? No. Robin Robin Hood. You are an eyewitness to a crime. A man has robbed a bank, but instead of keeping the money for himself, he donates it to a poor orphanage that You're can now a bitch afford. If you really snitch out somebody who does a nonviolent children. crime, you know who committed the crime. If you go to the authorities with the information, there's a good chance the money will be returned to the bank, leaving a lot of kids uh, in need. Nah, you're what a bitch. do you do? Nah, you're a bitch if you yeah, I'd say, you say yeah, that. I'd say fucking yeah, fuck that. Oh, you got you got to pick something harder, like uh, like a poor guy okay. robs a, an old right, lady, right, right, but right, but right, only right. to feed his or uh, his one single child as a single parent. Would you snitch on him then? Oh, oh, okay, That's okay, okay. Question. Here's one. Here's one. Go, Jack. You are you are at your best friend's wedding just an hour before the ceremony is to start. Earlier that day, you come across definitive proof that your best friend's spouse to be is having an affair with the best man slash maid out of of honor, and you catch them sneaking out of the room together, looking disheveled. Disheveled. Fuck. If you tell your friend about the the affair, their day will be ruined. But if you don't, you want them to marry a cheater. What do you do? Tell your friend. Obviously, yeah, you obviously. obviously no, the, a you harder question would be your if your friend's the one cheating. Then would you tell? Yeah, then that's the real question. Would you snitch question. on your yeah. friend to some chick that you're not really homies with? That's the real question. That's true. That 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 would be a better one. So, probably not. Hmm. If my friend, I probably would snitch on my friend, bro. I would have. To. I mean, if you want some fuck shit like that, yeah. I mean, that's kind of just for the better. I feel like. Hmm. Agreed. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'd probably just, honestly, I'd probably just flip a coin. <laughs> whatever what? The coin, whatever the coin decides, <laughs> heads I'll snitch, tails he gets the he gets to go free. You know, he's my buddy, so I'll leave it up to chance. But if it was that conniving bitch, I'll fucking snitch on her quicker than, uh, I don't know, quicker than something fast. Hey, bro, it wasn't my decision; it was the coin. <laughs> exactly. I'd be like, <laughs> I'd be like, dude, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, it'd be like Two Face. It's not my fault. How was it my fault, bro? I didn't do shit. I yeah, I just flipped the coin. I didn't pick which side it landed on. Billy, what do you got? Uh, actually, fucking nothing. What do you think? Why do you have like a oh, weird he's... ass strip of LED lights that goes like halfway through your room? It it, it jocks cactus lights. I can show you my. Uh, my it's my cactus lights, lights dog. Shit. What the fuck are Dude, cactus lights? They're just they're just little LED lights that are shaped so, in yeah, cactuses. We'll, you know what? I'll give a room tour. Currently Minecraft. Um. But I'll give a room tour real quick. So you got some, oh, fuck. some posters. Jack didn't like that. These posters are fucking posters. tight. My room is Cold so posters. bland. Road. I got this dude. I just, I just realized they were nice in the same room. Get a giant toe on him. Um, so this is my side. <laughs> you look at my side. Billy, Billy, do you want to tell that story? What about uh about what I said to the group chat the other day? Hey, let, me finish, <laughs> let me finish showing Jack's side of the room real quick. You know, my so side is just like, depressing. Why is that LED strip right it. there? There's so many places it could be, and it's just in the center. Where, of the where else am I supposed to put it? It's a cactus light. Like in the cor- one of the corners or on the roof, but not like See, the no, center that's... of the wall. You're supposed to put it on like that's... the seams. <sighs> Whatever, bro. <laughs> Bro, stop. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this. Okay, anyways. Billy, I, want, I want you to tell a story from your perspective. Oh, interesting. You know, it was my birthday that day, actually. Um, the, the best birthday present. It was February 9th. Uh, just so the podcast viewers know, that was my birthday. Um, you know, I, I wake up to a bunch of text messages from people wishing me happy birthday and a bunch of Snapchats, right? I woke up at like one o'clock. Um, so, you know, I, I, I go on and you know, I'm clicking through Snapchat and I open this video 
I open in our podcast, fun... we have a podcast group chat on Snapchat. I open up this fun little video, right? I open up this really fun video um, all right. from the podcast chat. And, you know, all of a sudden, I see this toe. So for all of you that don't know what a toe is in, in my book, it's a penis. So instead of saying, nice penis, nice toe, you know what I'm saying? So I see this, I see this penis, right, fucking right there. And, you know, it's, uh, it happens to be our fellow friend, Nick, and he, it gets worse, it gets worse. It's not just, it, it's a video. So what would you do in a video? Larry, what would you do in a video? What can you imagine happening in that video? I get out all those images in my head. <laughs> okay, okay. Because okay. I, might, like, I might end up like I might end up like that guy and get banned from the internet looking at what, stuff. What might happen in a video with a penis? Just, just something. It's not sex. I'll clarify it's for that. It's not sex. It was Larry, solo man. sex. <laughs> what is that? It starts with an M and with the masturbating. Um. <laughs> So I, I catch you're making the good you're friend, making God cry in the video. <laughs> our good friend Nick here decides that he will, you know, he's he's sending a, a little a video of himself. Got a little frisky. His girlfriend. He got a little frisky. You know what the best part or the worst part, either way you want to see it, was um, my friend here. Uh, I watched him come everywhere. <laughs> Like, all over, all him. over himself. Oh, all over him. <laughs> I I want to verify this story is completely true. Uh, luckily, okay. So in the in the podcast group chat, it's obviously me, Jock, and Billy, and we have one of our most popular guests, Owen, in there too, because he's our idea man. And um and so I, I got the, I got the message to Owen and Billy in time that uh that they shouldn't check Owen and Jock or Owen to Owen and Jock. I mean that they shouldn't check the the chat. And, uh, but Billy, unfortunately, since he, it was his birthday, he had so many text messages that he didn't even see my text message not to check the chat. So, uh, yeah, so he opened the video of me, uh, wanking yep. off. And, and but and I, I showed, of course, still saw it because yeah, and, and the, sec- the second he opened it, he just turned the phone at me. Yeah. And then I was so. met with Nick's toe. Yeah, so. Well, he just so- mentally scarred the guest. That, that's the story. No, I just have a question. How did, how did a, a video of your toe land in the, the group chat though me, me and my girlfriend were, were he wanted sending, us to see it. uh we're having phone sex essentially on snapchat and okay uh, it was the end and so i Cap. sent it and so you i you know paul do you use snapchat i do you you know on the bottom like the blue bar and then there's the there's the arrow to send it after you pick who you yeah. want to send it to well yeah, yeah somehow yeah. i went uh, before i pressed the arrow i accidentally under that blue bar was the podcast group chat so I accidentally oh, nice. clicked oh. that and then and then clicked the arrow. So yeah, so it's sent there. So yeah, nice. so that's the story of how I leaked my uh, climaxing uh, toe yeah, to the group chat. I saw, I literally saw Nick come everywhere, and I mean everywhere. Like there's no respect for like a towel or a napkin. It was just fucking all over. Like he needed to take a shower. After didn't that, give a fuck. Bro. I did take a shower. After did not. It. it was a good shower. Oh, exactly. <laughs> well, actually, it was it was actually a super stressful shower, and the whole night was stressful because I did this at night, and none of them were awake because it was like. 3, 4 a.m. So I just had to go to bed knowing that in the morning there was a slight chance one of them was going to see my cock. Couldn't you just delete it? Yeah. No, I, I, it's Snapchat. You can't delete the video. And I yeah, blocked. You can delete, you can delete yeah. snaps now. You, really? You, you can't delete videos? Just delete, you could have just deleted You could have just deleted it. Started a new one. Well, yeah, I this, did, this is no, further that, proves why Nick no, wanted that, us that, to see that, it. That's what I did. I I left the group chat and blocked everyone that was in the group chat. But and so Jock and Billy didn't even have the ability to see the video, or Jock and Owen, I mean. But somehow Billy could still see the video. Nick, I'm gonna. No, I'm gonna you just want to get that to Billy for his birthday. Something. I know what you're doing. Did you just, Nick? You just got it. Yeah, oh, it was Nick, a little birthday Nick, gift. You're not supposed to open up what I'm sending you. You're not supposed to open up what I'm sending you. Okay. Right. <laughs> Don't open That's it. Billy right? returning the I'm... favor. <laughs> okay, I'm not opening it. What is? I don't, I don't want to Oh, yeah, you so. deleted it. Well, fuck, I wish I knew that about two weeks ago. <laughs> it was the update the day after probably for you. <laughs> you definitely just wanted us to see it. I definitely not did not want you to see it. <laughs> yeah. You could have deleted it. I, you could have deleted sorry, it. I'm sorry, I didn't fucking know. Wow. Unbelievable. You just ruined your podcasting career. 
You put a Louis C.K. Oh, yeah. with that. Yeah, you just got <laughs> Louis C.K. <laughs> with us, bro. I, I've been accused of being bro, a pedophile Louis by K. fucking 30 kids on this podcast, but that's what kills my career. <laughs> 30 different kids really called you a pedophile I, on the show? I'm telling you, you, you'd be surprised how many of my friends think it's super funny to call me a pedophile on live air. It, I mean, it's pretty funny, to be honest. <laughs> I, can't even, I can't even front. Maybe to everyone <laughs> else. I mean, uh, listen, it, it's only not funny if you actually are a pedophile, I feel like. That's true. I guess that's true. It's so still not funny, by the way. Uh, yeah. It's, it's only cringeworthy if uh, they're actually a pedophile, right? I suppose. Yeah, that's so. what I'm saying. Jock, Jock, I'm gonna throw. Uh, I'm gonna throw 30 seconds on the clock, and I want. I want a good anchor. Bro, you you already know that I'm shit at doing this. Why don't you <laughs> just know. have I, I Billy just, do it or yourself teasing. do it? I was just teasing. We just learned that it, you need a thousand views anyway, so there's no point. Oh. Um, okay. So so yeah, I guess that's it. So. Uh, fuck my heels. Uh, what? Oh huh? fuck. I completely forgot. Paul, Larry, Yo. Larry, this is a new tradition we have, so you don't even know about this. All right. Paul, we, we have a tradition of doing a fuck, Mary kills before we uh, before we pack up shop. So if All you right. have one, you want to go first, feel free. Otherwise, one of these boys, uh, one of these handsome men are going to go first. All right. Go ahead, handsome men. Okay. Um, I'm playing Minecraft, so we're keeping it Minecraft themed. I'm going with an Enderman, right? Enderman. Uh, a zombie pigman or a gas. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm marrying gonna... an Enderman because he could teleport. I'm fucking a gas because I'm so interested in what their fucking their sex organs look like. And I'll kill the zombie pigman just because I have no other choice. I'm in the same, Here, I'm in the same some, boat I'll, there. I'll, I'll drop some informative pictures for us. We all no, we don't, we don't need, we we don't don't need, need this it. in the chat. Not again. We don't need it. No. We do not need Doug and Anthony. Oh two. god, he's already looking it up. It's too late. <laughs> god damn it! You know, I think I'd, uh, I think I'd also marry the Enderman. This is gold. I think I'd fuck the zombie pigman. Yeah, that's me. Gold, he says. Like I'm, I'm on the same group. Enderman, oh my god! Larry. What the fuck? All right, I got one. <laughs> please do not that's share subtle. that. <laughs> what, are you doing? what the fuck? Okay, Queen um, Latifah, Oprah Winfrey. Wow, that's or, really epic. Wait, I gotta find the last chick. Uh, or Viola Davis. Queen Latifah, Viola Oprah, Davis. Finn, Oprah Winfrey, and Viola Davis. Yeah, that's the list. Viola Davis. She's the chick uh, from oh. Suicide Squad. Okay. Well then, obviously, marry Viola Davis. Kill Oprah Henry. Winfrey. Oh. No, you can't kill Oprah. You gotta marry fuck Oprah, Oprah. For her money. Nah, oh, I'm good, Oprah. bro. She she went to Jeffrey yeah, Epstein's right. yeah, island. <laughs> really? That's, That's a fact. Really... That's a straight fact. Yeah, I don't want to be a part Great, of you're gonna send the FBI under us now. You're gonna send the FBI. Oh under yeah, us now. all the things we've talked about. That's the thing that's gonna get the FBI over here. I have searched yeah, up if I can marry it. my cousin. But yeah, I'm I'm sure that's too far. Yeah, definitely kill Oprah then, and then marry the know. Suicide Squad girl. Queen Latifah is very ugly though. I don't really want to do anything with her. No, no one said the lights had to be on. <laughs> that's a good point. That's a good point. All right, I guess I agree with Larry then. There you go. A man that knows a lot. The lights don't have to be on. <laughs> Jack, that should be the rule. Jack, who, what's your what's your list there? I think I'm gonna marry marry Viola. Gonna fuck Queen Latifah, kill Oprah. That's fucked up. <laughs> I think that's what we like all did, but Jack, I, I um, meant what I meant. What were your three for your fuck Mary kill? But I, I oh like fuck, um. Uh, I don't have one. I got one ready. All right, go, go ahead, ahead, Larry. Shoot it up. All right, Eric. All right, fine. Eric Cartman's mom, <laughs> Lois Griffin, <laughs> Lois Griffin, and then Francine Smith from American Dad. Marrying Francine, fucking yep. Cartman's mom, because in, isn't Cartman's mom like a, a hooker or something? So she must be good. She, she's just the she's the town whore. That's yeah, all. exactly. Uh, and then but, I, and then but, I'll fucking what? I'll just, I can't remember. 
Yeah, I'll kill Lois. She's so fucking annoying. I, but I, people, people, for, if you haven't watched early South South Park, Cartman's mom is also hermaphrodite. Oh, that's okay. I can look past that. We've done fuck Mary kills with <laughs> only, with three men. I, I think I can look past the hermaphrodite. Yeah, I'm sure I can. <laughs> at, at least she has one vagina. Yeah, I'm probably gonna go with fuck Lois. Right? Yep. I'm probably gonna yep. kill Carmen's mom and then marry uh, with the last one. Francine. 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 That's my I'm definitely, list. I'm definitely gonna marry Lois because she's like the most supportive fucking person she's on the not? planet. She's not. Francine is she more is? supportive. What are you talking about? Bro. Lois questions. Anyone, anyone who's Lois, able to support Lois Peter Griffin? literally questions Peter's every move and then she complains about him all the time. I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe maybe I just don't watch enough family. And I she makes know. fun of his Lois? cock all the time. Whatever. You know, that's a wild fact that I learned the other day watching Family Guy. What? What's that, up? That technically, they never understood what Stewie's been saying. Yeah, you didn't get that? Yeah, I never. I fucking. It's like the whole point. Only the dog it, understands. It, yeah, yeah. yeah, only Brian understands. So oh. Stewie's first word was fuck. <laughs> yeah, then Lois got in trouble because she was a bad parent because of it. Yeah, I remember. That was a good episode. Yeah, we did it. I did not know that. Jock, Jock, give me a fuck Mary kill right now. I want it on the spot. Oh shit! All right. Um. um, I got I got one of Jock's not ready. Yeah. All right. right, Jock still uh, won't be ready after, but at least we can. Let's get some time. All right. Emma Watson, Anna Kendrick, and Emma Stone. Did you? All three redheads. Did, All three redheads. Uh, you didn't name Emma Watson. You know Emma Roberts actually grew up in uh, me, Jack, and Billy's hometown. What? Really? I Emma, said Emma Emma Watson. Ro- no, I know. I I know you didn't say. Her. I was just saying. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> All right. Good to know. Something I learned today. Wait, what was the third one? Emma Watson, Emma Stone, and who? And and uh, Anna Kendrick. Oh, Anna Kendrick. She's really annoying, but I think she's most attractive out of the bunch. Really? Yeah, marry her. All right. Give us a list. Give us I, a list. I oh, I think I'd marry Emma Stone. I like Emma Stone better. And then I, yeah, I bang Anna definitely. Kendricks and Emma Watson. I I never really got why people found her attractive, especially with the dyke haircut. I just never saw it. So <laughs> she's, she's got to go. Yeah, same boat. I think uh, I, I all her clothes. Kill kill Emma Emma Watson, Mary and Anna Kendrick, and fuck Emma Stone. That's yeah, I I'm on the same. I'm on that boat too. Billy, what do you think? I'm with the same thing, bro. Uh, all right, Jock. It's your time to shine now. All right. Jock can fumble the bag. Give, Mario, give, us, give us three guys. Marty? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, Luigi and Toad. Well, isn't Luigi a bit – like, doesn't he own his own private business? So I, I, maybe I'll marry Luigi. And then I think I'd I think I'm bang Toad because I, I don't know. Mario seems like a more disgusting <laughs> bang. And then Mario's just got to go. <laughs> Well, no, if you kill Mario, he just keeps coming back to life. Okay, I, I don't care. That's on him. I don't give a okay. fuck. I mean, just saying. But, de- but definitely you just gotta kill somebody. Don't make a difference who it is. Yeah, exactly. I don't really care. <laughs> Alright, I, I go with... This is Paul. I go with uh, a Mary Toad, because like, Mario's, Super Mario's 2, he's always like the seller. Remember, he used to sell all those potions and stuff. So yeah, that's I true. forgot. Be the small, that's right. small he was the pharmacist. Small, he was the pharmacist. He's a small, yeah. Yes, he's a small oh, entrepreneur. So, Mary Toad. Why well, could boss kill Luigi? Luigi. <laughs> kill Luigi because he's too skinny. You gotta get that ass. Luigi so, is definitely the woman Mario. of the relationship, though. You're not thinking. So Mario so is the gonna, man of the relationship. Yeah, I'm just thinking physique wise. So Mario would be. Uh, I'd fuck Mario, kill Luigi. <laughs> Hell yeah, dog. You could marry Toad and then you I wouldn't like have to it. buy a car. You could just ride him to work every day and be like, thanks, babe. Jesus. Or just like what, just have Princess over every once in a while. Be like, yeah, what's up, Princess? How you doing? Thanks. Well, anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else? I... Okay, good talk. Awesome, All guys. Right. All right, cool. Thank you so much for having us on. You guys want to want to plug your out. shit one last time before you get out of here? Paul Ewing, Whiskey Amateurs Podcast. Check it out. It's a lot of fun. Hopefully have you guys on uh, once COVID dies down. Come up to New York when I can't freeze my balls off anymore. Again, whiskeyamateurs.com. No www shit. 
<laughs> yeah, we're, we're way we're, past that shit. Way Lawrence, Patch Man Lang from the Face Turn and the Sports Insanity Podcast. Go to the website, the Sports Podcast.com. Fuck the W's. <laughs> well, Word. thank you for coming on, gentlemen. We we very much thank appreciate you. it on on such short we notice. Appreciate it, and thank yes. you for pushing pushing your time back there, Paul. Uh, yeah, no problem, guys. I guess the only plugs we got are patreoncom slash Jock and the Nipple. Go subscribe to the YouTube. Press that little notification thing so you can watch us live. Uh, and shoot me a name. shoot me a fucking email, Jock and the Nipple AOL dot com. So we have we have some interesting shit to talk about. Uh, and uh, on- bonus episode coming soon, boys. Right? We're, what are we gonna watch this week or this month? Uh, we gotta do something before the end of the month. Can we watch Birdemic? No, we're not watching Birdemic. That's no, that's too Bird-a-demic. cliche. Bro. I like I like the yeah, choice, but it's watch- too cliche. Well, some something will be coming up pay, the pipeline on Patreon. Remember, one dollar and you get access to all bonus episodes on Patreon. I think we got two or three up right now, and we make a new one every month. Uh, five dollars and you get. I honestly wait. Fuck, it's been so long. Give me a second. We just changed it. That's why I'm uh, I'm forgetting. Wait. Uh, oh my fucking god! I'm sorry. We we just changed the five dollar tier because it used to be live audience, and obviously we we live stream now. So that's oh you get um you get uh early access. So yeah, five dollars early access to episodes. Get them as soon as we make them. Right after the live episode, I will post it to Patreon, and it's all yours. One dollar, and you get all those bonus episodes. One dollar a month. That's it. That's all it takes. Uh, I think that's it. Everyone, say goodbye. Thank you so much. See you, Cracker Craig. Later, gents.